games and once in the African Championship. She's not any younger. She's 33 years of age. The Kenyan who just set the national record in the women's discus show. And that record It's a record improving throw. She held the previous national record as well. So, you know, she's been in and about there a long time, Rosalina Chama. But uh, we're back on the track where the women's 10,000 meters final is ongoing. There's three Ethiopians against one Kenyan out in the front. But certainly, so this is basically gold, silver and bronze. So only one of these three will not get a medal. And if that turns out to be the Kenyan, Jeanette Chapin Gittich, that would be painful because surely the Utopians can do another one, two, three here. They already did one, two, three and the 5,000 meters. And uh, they still have 11 more laps to go. 11 more laps to go. So that's. 14 laps done, so the majority of this race has been run. It's uh, There's a woman's 10,000 meters final. Currently in the lead is uh, Wede Kifali. The Ethiopians are basically it's what they've been doing with the whole race is exchanging positions and running tactically. Chapin Getich has ensured that she stayed in and about so that when any kind of crazy kick happens and look at that, so they're switching the lead again. Different pacemakers exactly uh, in each of the races is what it is. And uh, so Wede Kefali just surrendered the lead there to her teammate. But, uh, these are highlights of the men's pole vault. Diallo got the bronze medal. You got a crowd going from the onset. So great. It's a fantastic. The men's pole vault final is a I beg your pardon, Bubakar Diallo. He got the silver medal. It's a fantastic silver medal for him. 5.00. Rani Medi got the gold and there was a wonderful gold medal at 5.30. Attempted the African Games record at 5.41, but didn't quite make it. It's Abera Alemu of Ethiopia who's got the bronze, and I'm sure. The medal ceremony of this event will be happening really, really shortly. So, congratulations! That's the men's pole vault champion from uh, Algeria, Amar Ruana Medi, 5.30, flying and leaping above everybody else, almost going into the dark clouds of Accra. And that makes it gold medal number 24 for the Algerians. Back on track. They are lapping the Sierra Leonean athlete. Theresa Kagbo, but credit to her for even attempting this in the first place. Not an easy race. So that's the national anthem.
Um, big congratulations to Mehdi, the winner of the men's pole vote gold medal at these African Games. As the track event continues with the women's 10,000 meters, Chopin Gesich just reclaiming the lead there, the Kenyan. There's six more laps still to go. As we get to see some pictures from the women's discuss through final. Which is also still ongoing in earnest, the women's discuss show final. The The lead, of course, uh, is currently held by Nigerian Amechi Obwageri after three attempts, throwing 58.21 meters. In second place is Morinora Atim of Cameroon, 55.94. And another, Ni another Nigerian, Anumba Ashley Fioma, 54.88 in third position after three throws the defending champion Chioma Onyekweri is currently in fourth position so it's not looking good for the defending champion but of course with three more throws remaining who's to say who's to he cannot rule her out just yet Defending champion, games record holder, African record holder, Chioma Onyekweri is still in contention. At the moment is the South African, Senegal Ishke, and back on the track is the Kenyan who has taken the lead, Janet Chepingetich, and one Ethiopian as dropped by the wayside and it's just left with two Ethiopians right now I think it's a uh, Abiru Ayana so at this point it's gold for Kenya at this point <laughs> it's gold for Kenya silver so it's Melissa Abiru Ayana who has dropped out so yes Kwame you are absolutely right this right now is gold silver bronze what is to be determined is how they will finish <laughs> who guess what exactly uh, but it's guaranteed now for these three finish the race and get a medal just finish finish, finish. the race and get a medal but uh, as far as they are concerned i'm not sure it's just about finishing anymore no. Because that is a continental rivalry that you're looking at. Exactly. Exactly. So at this point, you're beginning to think, with just about four more laps to go, what do I do? What do I do? Do I go for the kick? Or just Certainly. hold on? Or just hold on? Certainly with uh, four laps to go. It's a little too early. So that's uh, in the lead at the moment is uh, Kefale Belu. Kefale Belu, where they is more used to road running. She's a she finished in the top eight at the World Cross Country Championships, and uh, she's ranked 63 in the women's 10,000 meters. So she's not a top, top, top. 10,000 meter runner not at all but she is in here and she is 
angling for a medal. They are lapping the Sierra Leonean twice, but like I said, big credit for her for even trying, attempting to go around the track 25 times. That is incredibly brave from Theresa Gakpo. Absolutely incredible. I mean, knowing very well that she was going to be up against the Ethiopians uh, and the Kenyan in the race. It was always going to be a big ask. She's going to be loved again. But I guess the experience would mean a lot to her. And well, 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 look at that. You can tell that they're up in the ante now, and they surely look at Jeanette Chapin gets it. She's running with great determination. And she herself is typically a uh, cross country runner. Jeanette Shepingetich. Not too many laps to go. 31 minutes they have been on the track. Yeah, so and certainly now that is way past the uh, any record whatsoever. But they still got about. And here they are measuring each other up right now. It's uh, this is going to get very frantic, very very shortly. And that's the Chepingetich is looking at. The finish line up there, but it's uh, Kefele Belu Wede who is pursuing her with great determination. And now, surely, Tika Namari has been left behind. It's going to be a two horse race, and that's the bell. It's going to be between Jeanette Chapingetic and, of course, Kefele Belu. It's Kenya against Ethiopia as we've seen in every long distance race over the last 50 years it's always Kenya against Ethiopia well the African Games record belongs to the Kenyans the world record belongs to the Ethiopians and that's what it is but look at that it is a value Bellew coming strongly, Bellew has overtaking Chapingetic as they approach the, uh, the home straight. But Chapingetic is not relinquishing the lead just yet. Chapingetic is taking over the lead, Bellew is struggling. She's running with every sinew of energy in her, but it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. It is Chapingetic, Jenna Chapingetic runs away with it crosses the line and is gold for kenya ethiopia will have to settle for the silver medal and the bronze jenna chapin gets it she ran out there all by herself alone the only kenyan on this track there were as many as three ethiopians and she has beaten them all ridiculous wonderful from Janet Chapping. to Mombasa she has done it with three Ethiopians briefing down her neck Janet Chapin gets it has shaken up all the pressure and she has won gold for Kenya wonderful victory and yet again the green red and black of the East African country will be flown here in Accra down in West Africa with the humidity over 70 percent and temperatures soaring at 32 degrees nothing compared to anything that's in Nairobi at the moment Chapin gets to just come here and she has dominated the field Kwame 
ridiculous victory. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And no wonder she gets the loudest cheer of the night. What, what a final lap there. What a final lap. I mean, at some point, it, it did appear that the Ethiopians were going to nudge her out, but she just went for it on the final lap, gave it absolutely everything. What a performance. And just like you said, there will be loads of celebrations in, in uh, Nairobi, in Mombasa, or in Kisumu, or all the big towns in Kenya. They'll be celebrating this one. What a performance from Janet to win this one and it's not just the fact that she won it's the fact that she beat the Ethiopians to it. all three Ethiopians all three of them look at this at this point look at the replay at this point it looked like Belly who had enough in her but just by judging by Belly's face and looking at the determination from Japan you just knew she had it and at this point on the home straight, Wells, Bellew knew, Chapin gets it, was not looking back, she was not to be denied. It's a wonderful, wonderful victory from the Kenyan, Janet Chapin gets it, African Games champion, ah uh, my word, she has deserved it. She's run an excellent race, as she thought. Every step of the way, she's kept up with the Ethiopians. They changed positions, tactically run the race, and yet she stayed with them. Every step of the way, and here she is with her reward. Celebrate, Chapin Getich. Pray to the Lord. You have deserved it. You 